Real talk? I am terrified of the idea of ghosts. Hello fellow heroes, I'm Action Smackchan, the two-in-one hero made up of a virus from the 70s and a guy who likes to play things. And I'm back again with my playthrough of Tecmo Secret of the Stars, or I guess the title's actually just Secret of the Stars, but when you look at the label, <laughs> it makes it look like Tecmo is part of the, uh, part of the title. So I can't help but not, I, I mean, I can't not just like call it Tecmo. Secret of the Stars. No, 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 no. I read that title. Man, Tecmo is part of the title. <laughs> um, let's see. So, yeah. Um, back to playing this game. Back to... Uh, what were we doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Last time we were in a volcano. And then I beat up Dr. Wily. And he self-destructed the volcano or something, and that that did a lot of damage on people. <laughs> okay. Ooh, Tina. Well, that sounds like the name of a cute girl. Does that mean I'm going to meet a cute girl? I'm going to find a cute girl. All right. Yeah, I'll help Tina. She's too young. Too young. How young is too young? Or maybe you're just too old. What then, man? When you realize how absurd that idea is, you start to realize it's not about the age. It's about me wanting to find the cute girl. I want the cute girl. All right, exploring we go. And take this, you quilly. Big old quill. You prickly, prickly hedgehog. <laughs> I have a hard time seeing um, hedgehogs the same way. Seeing hedgehogs as just hedgehogs in video games. Like, can, can hedgehogs exist in video games after Sonic the Hedgehog? The expectation of hedgehogs is just that they have to be Sonic. They're Sonic shaped. <laughs> uh, um, not sure if I got all the information that I needed. <laughs> I just know that somewhere in this world there's a cute girl and she needs my help. <laughs> oh, here you go, kids! <laughs> bad Bad burned the town down. Her friends got kidnapped by Bad Bad. Help us? Okay. Oh, thank you. I'll be waiting for you at Old Hill. Did you not listen to the lady that said don't go to Old Hill? Even though that is exactly where I live or something. Fine, you guys can go to Old Hill. Just have to go meet them there because they didn't want to talk about it here. Like, who's listening? Like, you really could have just told me. But fine, I'll make the trek all the way back to Old Hill. It's also kind of impressive that they do not get beat up <laughs> on the way to Old Hill. Here you go, take this, you dang old quick man. Yeah, give me your money. Right on. Alright, so where the kitties at? Where are they hanging out in my house? Uh, please destroy that bad bad somehow, won't you? <laughs> I'm very demanding. Look, my mom and dad are gone. Oh, wow. Bad bad kidnapped all my friends. I wonder how they are. Alright, so I have to go get this bad, bad guy. Don't worry, kitties. I got you covered. I'm gonna go beat up that bad, bad. Hmm. Hey, do these slimes have, like, little googly eyes? Like, really small ones? Or is that just... Or is that just my imagination? <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. Maybe it'd be easier to tell if I were looking at a CRT, but this is not a CRT I'm using. Definitely looking at a monitor. A modern 2020 decade monitor. Ah, <laughs> I like how smooth this trip is going. All right, 
So, what do we got? And look at the doggies. So many doggies. There's two. Two doggies. Three doggies. <laughs> uh, wasn't that a thing in uh, Dragon Quest 2, I think? Dragon Quest 2. <laughs> Somebody was turned into a dog. Who the heck are you? Who the heck am I? Who are you? You're one of them as well. Get him. Or get him? Question mark. Three bad men. Okay, these are bad mans. But, um, or is bad bad? Uh, you guys aren't even tough. Take this. I'm gonna hit you. Take that. I must live up to my name and smack evildoers like you. You guys are simply bad mans. All right. They weren't even tough. And I took their money. They were broke. Oh, thank you. He was working for Bad Bad. Using a dog pill, Bad Bad, changed townspeople into dogs. Please destroy Bad Bad and return the townspeople to normal. Bad Bad House is in the south part of town. My name is Tina. I found Tina! I found the cute girl! I'm traveling. Oh, that star is, uh... Ah. Whoa. <laughs> it's that sparkly effect that I like so much. Tina became Pennon. That star is... I have that one too. I recall my father telling me when I was young about four friends. We'd all become Aquatonians and fight together. Let's unite smack! We will rescue kids and destroy Home and Crossy. Alright. Alright, alright. <laughs> uh, I was playing ahead a little bit in, uh, my, per in my personal file. Um, because, uh, I want to enjoy this game as much and as long as possible <laughs> to make up for the year that I did not have it. Um, but yeah, uh, the way he words, um, how to find Bad Bad is kind of confusing, because he definitely makes it sound like Bad Bad lives in this vicinity. But I actually have to leave the town, go south, into this cave. <laughs> I probably shouldn't get too overzealous because Tina is definitely... Uh, she's a little bit squishy at the moment. In fact, she is already down. I need to pay more attention to the HP and stuff. Should I at least buy this girl a hat? <laughs> I forgot to get her, like, equipment. Yeah, I got a midsword. Ooh, that's fancy. Do I already have one equipped? I only have a short sword. Ooh, that's good. I gotta put this on. Yes. Alright, but, um, Tina needs something. Maybe a hat? Do I have a hat that I could give her? A normal hat. There you go. That's good. Can I replace her steel king? She can use a short sword. Yeah, use the short sword, man. That's pretty good. Um, it might be enough to get us going, but maybe I should go get her some... First, I'll go put her in a bed, because this, this girl needs some rest. <laughs> oh, zombies are dangerous. I need to make sure that I destroy the zombies. There we go. I don't understand how or why, but they were one-shotting me... ...earlier in my personal file. Even though they weren't doing a whole lot of damage... But for some reason, I was getting killed by them in one shot. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I 
Good old bones. Good old skeleton. There we go. Handled. <laughs> Alright. Time to go find a bed for this girl to take a nap in. Uh, is there one in here? Alright, yeah, there's a bed here. Yes, good. There we go. Um, should probably go to the other town and maybe get her like a leather, leather suit because that is slightly better as armor. Oh, I also found out that you only restore your your MP if you get like a uh, go to an inn or if you heal yourself using the uh, the temple like places. But if you just kind of borrow somebody's bed, you only heal your HP. <laughs> I wish you told me that, but um, I don't know, maybe it was in the instruction booklet that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I actually didn't realize uh, until I was talking to uh, one of my colleagues on a team that I uh, was a part of a few years ago. Um, but I didn't realize that the reason why um, instruction booklets and cases um, are just like not a thing <laughs> in the used market sometimes is because people would actually uh, throw them away. Like actually throw away the cases and throw away the uh, instruction booklet. Kind of like blew my mind. I was like, no way, that's not a thing. Who does that? Apparently, yeah, that is definitely a thing. And that is why uh, there's so many loose copies of video games. <laughs> Like, I understand, like, maybe throwing away the box for, like, a, for, like, um, the N64 and, and before, uh, like, Nintendo-wise, because they were just, like, cardboard boxes, and they were hard to store. <laughs> and you don't really, like, put your cartridge back inside of it. It really just seemed like, you know, a box. <laughs> uh, even though we did, um... Thinking back in the N64 days, uh, my siblings and I did try to keep those boxes uh, for as long as we could, because they are pretty cool looking boxes. <laughs> uh, but there really came a point where our mom was all like, look, we don't don't have space for this. We need to throw these out. Because <laughs> we like we kept them in like side of a drawer and like, I guess our parents wanted to use the drawer for some other whatevers. <laughs> <clears throat> and it's not like we had a better place to put them, so ye, like, like years later after the N64, we threw them out, I guess. But, uh, I guess people also did that for, like, discs and stuff. Like, uh, PS1 games, PS PS2 games. Because, you know, there's definitely still a whole lot of loose, loose copies of those games. But like, <laughs> like to me, that, that's still crazy because like, it's a disc. Where, where do you put your disc? But, you know, back in the day, I guess people did put discs inside of like, um, like album. Like photo album, like uh, disc holders, <laughs> like the binders. I guess that's still a thing. Uh, we used to do that, but mostly with um, not to like permanently hold games, but to like hold games that we are playing recently. Uh, but we still definitely kept the cases. <laughs> we kept the cases, and of course, keep the instruction booklets. I didn't necessarily read the instruction booklets all the time. Uh, usually I read them like on the car ride home or something. <laughs> I 
But I had a hard time... I had a hard time taking that information, man. Like, I understand losing things, because, um... In, uh... In my, uh... Mario RPGs episode, if you watched that, I definitely talked a lot about... Um... <laughs> losing things with my neighbors. <laughs> And by losing things with my neighbors, I mean my neighbor would lose my things, like my, my Game Boy Color, our copy of Paper Mario. They would definitely lose that for us. <laughs> so I kind of, I, I would understand, and my assumption uh, growing up was that people just kind of lost the cases or the instruction booklets. But it never occurred to me that people would straight up throw them out. <laughs> uh... I guess like when you're a kid and you don't and you're not hanging out with anybody else that like says no just keep that what are you doing <laughs> why would you throw that out um I guess if it were just me on my own I would have just thrown it out I guess I don't know I always felt weird about throwing things out I was kind of a kid that liked to like personify things a little Like, I would, like, talk to my little stuffed animals. I didn't really have, like, an imaginary friend, but I had, like, stuffed toys that I would, like, talk to. <clears throat> Alright, we should be able to handle these guys, right? Ha 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 ha, fire! 17, whoa! Maybe I'm not super duper ready to fight these guys. Not if they're gonna come, come out the gate with a fire, doing 17 damage to my cute girl. Can't have that. Gonna have to grind. Gonna have to grind a little bit. Ooh, level five. Getting there. We're getting there, man. All right. Um, should probably heal though. Heal. Yeah, that should be good. Should be enough to get by for now. Two wolves. Oh, these things are dangerous. 8 HP. You guys are doing too much. 3 HP. They actually did 3 HP to Smack. And Smack is the one with like actually good armor on. Take this. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Gonna get this treasure because it looks delicious. I want the delicious, delicious treasures. If I didn't need EXP, I would not give me, be giving you wolves the time of day. But seeing as my cute girl is fresh to the whole idea of fighting, Oh man, look at that, level six. She's becoming such a strong girl. A normal hat. Oh, I didn't need to buy that one. Whatever, no, no problem with having a spare hat. They're so fashionable. There we go. Just gonna have to be diligent about keeping her alive. Echo cat. I'm an echo cat. Maybe it's more like an echo cat, cat, cat. <laughs> yes. Ooh, smack. Smack level 10. A level 10 smack. How very strong. Ooh, another treasure. I want all the treasure. Two wolves. More like no wolves, because I'm about to beat them all up. Ha hoo. Oh, stop hitting us. Like this? Yes. Ouch. Ah, oh, the fight's not over yet. Oh, it is now, though. And we're gonna have so much money uh, by the end of this. Gonna be able to buy so many hats and do nothing with them. Yeah, hit her. What? Hey, hey, stop it. There we go. Yeah. 
You guys ain't nothing. Take this. Take that. How are you not dead? Oh no, Tina. This was gonna be like your level up, I bet. Darn it. I need you to be not defeated. Hold on. Sure, using up a lot of my magic. There you go. There we go. Rat tail. It's weird seeing rat tails as an item in games that are not Final Fantasy one. <laughs> like it really is just like a gross thing that was attached to an animal. It's like probably like rotting and festering and dead. Smells weird. But like in Final Fantasy one, like it had a reason to exist. It wasn't just a gross rat tail. It was. Well, I'm not sure if I really want to spoil it for those who might decide to play. But it's not just a rat tail, man. It's a special item. I do recommend trying Final Fantasy 1. It's not a long game. It's like maybe 10, 15 hours. And I think it's pretty cool. I liked it a lot. I played, I've beaten that game multiple times. Multiple versions of that game. I beat the Pixel Remaster. Um, I beat the uh, I beat the Game Boy Advance version, and the, the the Donna Souls collection that was like one and two. I like that. I beat well. I was getting ready to beat the um, the PSP version uh, recently, in fact, um, within the last year or so, because um, I did try to get my PSP fixed. It, it wasn't actually fixable. It was a very specific kind of broken. Um, but I am able to like switch out the battery. And I was trying to beat Final Fantasy one like that for a while. Um, I kind of stopped because I got. I wanted to do like the bonus dungeon because the PSP versions of one and two had like bonus content. I wanted to try to do like the bonus dungeon and um, that kind of required uh, playing for a long time uh, without stopping for like saving and uh, that's not something exactly my PSP can do because I cannot actually charge my PSP um, my PSP batteries inside the system anymore. I actually have to use a uh, an external PSP battery charger and switch the batteries. <laughs> switch between the two batteries that I got. And um, with a dungeon that is designed to be played uh, non-stop, kind of a... Uh, Kind of a rope-like style dungeon, <laughs> where if you lose, you go all the way back to the beginning, because there's no there's no saving. Uh, yeah, it's not super possible to do that. So um, I never ended up beating that PSP Final Fantasy one. Even though that is a pretty good version of the game, I like to that version. Uh, the redone sprites looked really cool. And it had like, um... It had like... Orchestrated... Arrangements... Of the music. Same thing with the Final Fantasy 2... Uh, PSP version. Like the orchestrations... Like the pixels... I also really like that the um, Final Fantasy 1 and 2 for the PSP are not a collection, they're just released separately, <laughs> uh, which is pretty awesome. Final Fantasy 1 and 2 can stand on their own. But yeah, I am kind of a fanboy of Final Fantasy 2. I will hold that it is my favorite Final Fantasy Although I do, I would understand if, you know, people don't like it because it's not 
Um, it doesn't follow all the same philosophies that, uh, that um, RPGs tend to follow today. But I still think it's a good game. I think it's a great game. Yeah, since I am a fanboy of Final Fantasy 2, I do kind of want to own like every version <laughs> of Final Fantasy 2. Like I need to get, I still need to get the, um, the, uh, the PS1 version. I think it's just Final Fantasy Origin or something. I'm always running from that duo because I, I don't want to put up with a ghost. Normal attacks just kind of whiff, and um, I need to use magic to defeat it, and I don't feel like using MP like that. But wolves, I can just slap a wolf. There we go. Oh, level 8 Tina. Man, she's doing pretty well. Look at her, getting strong. Getting so dang strong. Should have bought more bread. It's the Echo Cat, Cat, Cat. Um, I do want to get like a Famicom Final Fantasy 2. That would be awesome, even though I don't own a Famicom. Um... I would still love to own <laughs> uh, for my collection for my collection's sake uh, a copy of the Famicom Final Fantasy 2. I also want to grab like a copy of that fake Final Fantasy 2. You know the one. The one that's like actually Final Fantasy 4. But for some reason, it has Final Fantasy 2 on the label <laughs> for the Super Nintendo. Yeah, the fake Final Fantasy 2. <laughs> I say that, but like um, Final, Fantasy, Final Fantasy 4 was also pretty cool. I understand if people like that because I like it. I just happen to like Final Fantasy 2 more. Um, it's interesting that I think in the... Uh, in the modern canon of Final Fantasy. <laughs> um, Final Fantasy 2 II and 4 are actually take place in like the same universe. I think that is the accepted canon. Because um, like starting in like the GBA version of Final Fantasy 2, the Dawn of Souls, um, they like made ties to uh, they like put in some names to make those to connect. Um, which I think it's pretty cool to actually have like a continuity like that, especially in a franchise like Final Fantasy, because usually Final Fantasy does not <laughs> have continuity like that. Um, but it does kind of still raise some questions in me. Because um, because crap hits the fan in Final Final Fantasy IV, and it does kind of make me wonder where um, if uh, Furion and his friends still exist in that in that time. Um, then how come they aren't doing anything? <laughs> uh, because it doesn't seem like it's uh, that long since um, since the events of Final Fantasy 2. Like maybe 10, 10, 15 years, <laughs> I would guess, between uh, the events of Final Fantasy 2 and 4. So, um, where are Ferion at? 
all these awful things happening in the world, you'd think that, uh... The old Wild Rose Rebel would come and do something. But whatever. <laughs> maybe... Maybe they did. Maybe they did something and people just aren't talking about it. Or just don't have eyes on it. <laughs> and I really want that treasure on the left. I don't remember what's inside. I wanna know. Am I dying? I hope I'm not dying. I think we're okay. A moon drop! Ooh. I think that restores MP, I think. There we go, I'll defeat the Echo Cat, Cat, Cat. Ooh. Y'all need to chill with the fire. You know, that hurts, right? You can't just go throwing fire at people. There we go. Yeah. Hit the guy that you could only do one damage to. Keep doing it. Ignore the squishy girl. Yes. Yes. What? Hey, you were supposed to fall. Be defeated. There we go. Aha! For the treasure is mine! It's a restore! I like that. I like, I like restores. Ghosts! I don't like ghosts! Real talk? I am terrified of the idea of ghosts. And it just so happens that I live in the state in the United States that apparently is very haunted. It has so many ghost stories. <laughs> I didn't realize it, like, growing up. Um, but, like, I got... I would be, later in life get into watching, like, a list of videos, and, um, yeah. <laughs> My state is definitely listed in one of the most haunted locations in the U.S. Now I'm like, oh, goody. <laughs> but I do enjoy a good ghost story. <laughs> Ironically. I do like getting spooked for fun. I do like... I do like uh, survival horror games. Um... Ooh. Because uh, survival horror games just have a lot of cool stories. <laughs> but yeah, um, it did take me a while to like get into horror. It wasn't until I was like in uh, late middle school, early high school, because that's when um, that's when like my brother would be like in college, and. Um, him, him and his friends would be getting into um, survival horror games, which was like kind of the perfect time to be getting into those, because that's when uh, the good games were affordable. <laughs> uh, they were still obscure, and there weren't like influencers saying, "Hey, this is a really good game." If you get a chance, go buy that game. And then that <laughs> that creates demand to get the game. No, you could just go to GameStop, you get Fatal Frame for like $15 or something, I don't know. <laughs> uh. Alright, bread. Pretty useful, that bread. But yeah, um, my brother and his friends would be like, getting really into... Uh, survival horror games and um, they would be hosting uh, horror game nights um, at one of their apartments or something and uh, the practice still goes on today um, although scheduling is a little bit more difficult because of adult schedules and whatnot <laughs> But yeah, and I would occasionally join them in their horror game nights, and that would be pretty fun. It would, like, happen a lot during the summer, because, you know, 
students get a break during the summer. And I would just kind of tag along with my brother when he would go over to someone's house. And they would do things like play Fatal Frame 2 with my brother at the helm. <laughs> yeah. It's fun to have my brother at the helm because he gets especially jumpy. I don't really do a whole lot of, like, horror movies. And there isn't a whole lot to say in the landscape of uh, horror anime. Um, although I have seen, seen a couple. There's just not a whole lot to talk about. <laughs> sure, there's, like, really, really popular stuff, but it's not like, uh Not a lot to sink your teeth in. It's not like if you suddenly got an itch for, like, um, Battle Shonen. Yeah, there's a lot to scratch your... Scratch the itch. And there's a whole lot of different flavors of it. There's, like, the tournament... Tournament-style stuff, or... Let's see what's up here. I want the treasure. I want the treasure. What am I doing? I need the treasure. But, um, horror anime is one thing, but horror manga is a completely other thing. There's a whole lot more for me to, um, sink my te teeth in. Especially now, man. Um, Junji Ito got so popular over the years. <laughs> Which is awesome, because I, I enjoy his manga. I even still collect his manga as they release now, even when I'm in a position where I need to really, really not, <laughs> not buy any manga right now. Uh, but a Junji Ito manga, man, I will, I will pre-order that months ahead. Um, because it's, uh, I, I enjoy his work. <laughs> uh, and he's created such a public persona these days. <laughs> because uh, Viz likes to market Junji Ito manga by presenting Junji Ito <laughs> and record him doing stuff and saying things, uh, which is a whole lot of fun. <laughs> um, I also really like the Kazuo Umezu, or Umez, is, which is the way they seem to like to localize the name now. Um, which is fine. Apparently, Umez is supposed to be the onomatopoeia for the sound the zombies make. But, um, I saw recently that there was an announcement that he, that we are, uh, doing a reprint of his Cat Eye Boy Cat-Eyed Boy, um, manga, which is, which is pretty cool because I only got one volume of that a long time ago, probably back when I was in, uh, university and stuff. Um, but, uh, we have been getting the Orochi collection, which I love because it is about a cute girl. Orochi is such a cute girl. <laughs> and then she watches humans do awful things. <laughs> I like that series, but um, it is kind of pricey because they're like hardbound and come out every like four months or so. <laughs> so I don't have the latest one, but um, if I if I had money like that, man, I would be picking those up still as they came out. And if you are looking for a little bit of, um, old-school horror, definitely look into Kazuo Mezu, or Umez. Check out, uh, Drifting Classroom. Yeah, he, they also released his Drifting Classroom series in, um, I think it's like... Five? I think it's five Omnibuy? Um, all I know is that I bought all of them as they came out, and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Also, try Orochi, because Orochi is a cute girl. And people do awful things. Um, 
and uh, I would absolutely like to pick up his um, the cat eyed boy because again, it's um, still really cool. Kazuo Mezu doing his thing, man. I used to read uh, fan. I used to read fan translations of these um, of these manga, both uh, Umezu's and uh, Junji Ito's. I used to, yeah, I used to read fan translations of them, and um, I'm happy that these days I get to say that they uh, are getting official releases, and I could support that. I definitely need to like buy the uh, <laughs> the the merch for the Junji Ito stuff because like. Recently, they've been doing, like, Uzumaki stuff. Um, there was, like, a plush for, like, Kirie, the main character of Uzumaki, from Junji Ito. <laughs> and I just kind of, like, marveled at it, because I was I saw a listing for it on Right Stuff, and I was like, whoa, what an adorable horror girl plush. <laughs> I should have bought it, but I didn't. Um, but that same character, Kirie, is also getting an android. And uh, I really want to pre-order that. I need to get around to pre-ordering that. The pre-order is probably closed on a good smile, but can probably still get it on Ami Ami. Um, and I want to. I definitely want to. <laughs> and I also want to get the uh, all the Rosen Maiden. Um, Nendoroids. So I, I'm pretty sure I've talked about it before. Rosen Maiden is one of my early favorites and still stands as one of my favorite anime and manga. I do like need some Rosen Maiden. And um In fact Shinku from Rosen Maiden was my first Nendoroid. And it was really cool because um, the androids used to come in really cool boxes that were like fashioned to uh, to the uh, to the series. Uh, like these days, the android boxes usually come in a more uniform shape and design. But yeah, um, Shinku was my first android. Then Sweet Ginto came out, but um, I did not have a whole lot of money back in those days, so I was not able to get Sweet Ginto. Uh, when she first came out. Uh, but I did rectify that eventually. <laughs> but um, throughout that, like, decade or so, I would be, like, um, every time my brother goes out to a convention or I go to a store that um, that would sell Nendoroids, I would, I would kind of have an eye, eye out for a Suigito Nendoroid. But I uh, never ended up finding one. Um, <laughs> but they started uh, reprinting Suiginto like sometime last year. And um, I just so happened to have been looking at Good Smile uh, when that happened. And I was all like, I need to fix this now. I need to fix my lack of Suiginto Nendoroid. So I dropped the money, man. <laughs> and I got her. The the box doesn't look like the Shinku one that I got, but um, whatever, man. I finally got that Android that I wanted for ten years. Um, it's a pretty similar story to uh, the Mackenzie Android that I have from Touch Detective. Um, that was just another one from that same period of of my life where I did not have the money for stuff like this, and um, the availability just wasn't there. Generally, but um, I saw the time to rectify the fact that I did not have these things, and I fixed it. <laughs> but now they are releasing all these other um, all these other Nendoroids. Oh yeah, I should probably meet up with those kids, right? Oh, no, I should go tell the uh, the guy that Tina is okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, 
I found another guy from Costera. His name is Yu. He's been waiting for me. Let's fight together. My mind's blown because I actually did not run into this guy in my um in my personal file. We Costeras are able to join up to five, and there are a total of eleven Costeras. Each has a unique ability, so let's unite and get rid of the rest of our friends. Oh, not get rid of. Let's get the rest of our friends. Cool. Um. So, is he just on his... Oh yeah, there he is. He's on David's team now. They're both level four. Um, this is awesome because uh, David could definitely use the help. <laughs> Oh, it's also great that uh, David is over here because he could just kind of save for us. Well, anyway, this is probably a pretty good place <laughs> to end the episode because I'm pretty accomplished. I got a new Kustera guy to hang out with David. I got, um, I, de I defeated a bad bad. I got a cute girl and I saved a bunch of puppies. <laughs> That's a pretty good day's work for a hero, I'd say. <laughs> uh, well anyway thank you guys so much for joining me today if you enjoyed the video as much as i enjoyed playing it be sure to like and share the video so that we can gain more fellow heroes and of course if you have not subscribed yet do subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with more episodes of secret of the stars because I'm definitely going to make more episodes of this because I still need to get <laughs> as much out of this game as possible. <laughs> Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next Smackchan Packed Adventure.